Okay, pilots, here we go with our next episode on the three wing Yak 130. We're putting my red in the flashing or strobing indicator light in the tail rudder. Vertical stabilizer. Okay, now the bulb is on both sides. We got one on one, one side, one on the other side. They both are red, they're going to both strobe. So I've cut a little square base here where the light's going to be. And if you'll note, I've got kind of a lip made right here. It, it goes in up under a little bit. But I cut my little piece out there and tried to do it as best I could. It really ain't pretty. I tried. But my first cut was in a 45 degree angle downward on each side. This one came from this direction downward. And I just cut it the sides and got a big chunk of V out. And that's, that's pretty much what I've done to get started. And now I've eat that on the inside out, I think, enough. I hadn't tried it yet, but I got to put the wire, the lead through, and test it. See if I got enough cut out in there. And, oh, and if you'll notice how it's got a little base down here at the bottom, I, I just kind of cut down into it, up underneath the paint, a little area for that base to sit. Now I'm gonna try to get a cut here for my lead. And I'm gonna have to put, a spot for my connection there. Where I had to put an extension on the lead pilot. So it was a lot of difference in the P38 leads length that I needed. <laughs> so I had to make some a little bit longer. But that's okay, I, I took care of that. You know, it's no problem. I'm cutting my channel for my lead right now. But the the leads on the P38, I know if you got one, you know it's got sections in the wing. You put the end section into the uh, wing cell there, I mean the engine cell, and it, it's plugged into a, like a, a quick plug. You know, that thing all plugs in together right there. So the, the you know, the lead is not that long. So keep that in mind, note that. I'm just going to take a small while. I'm just going to open that channel up just a little bit. Trying not to disturb the paint too much. But just making a little fresh channel there. Wow. What I've done... I noticed that this is the thickness of the foam is going to be kind of about perfect to the thickness of the bulbs. So what I thought about doing was just trying to maybe make a small hole instead of putting a cover there, just make a small hole for the bulb to shine through. Yep. Okay. That bulb is going to be right there. So I'm going to poke a hole. Poke a hole, poke a hole, poke on us. Right on through right there. I'm going to take my hobby knife and just make a small, I'm going to try to make a small circle.
not much of a circle. Come on, man. Ain't like a circle. I'll tell you another thing. I'll have to thin it up a little bit more right there. Because, well, also, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm showing you this bulb three or four times. But it's got the white part. You see the white part around the bulb? Well, it's got its thickness, too. See there? So you got to, you know, bore it out enough for it to settle down into that. So I'm cutting a little bit bigger of a hole around the hole I just cut, but not going all the way through. And then I'm going to take and kind of use my hobby knife to poke that thumb away. Without trying to go all the way through. So I'm just barely poking at that foam. I mean, it's, it's hard, it's going to be hard for you to see because it's white and a reflection. the round base I tried to cut there. And it's got the small hole on the outside. So let's see if we've lined it up right and let's see what I what my swagging has done. My scientific wild ass guess. At where that bulb's gonna be. Uh -oh. Let me hit this just a little bit more. I got some loose right there. I got some loose. Gonna get rid of my loose. Keep messing with it. I'm gonna keep messing with it. I'm gonna poke a hole in it. You wait and see. I'm gonna poke a harness it. I'm just I'm eating a little bit around the edges of the round spot now. Make sure that that base is sitting there far enough. <laughs> All right, here we go. Trying to get it under that first lip. You get under that first lip, and then I push it forward a little bit. And I got to get my lead started here. Come on, ice cream. Got to be careful around them leads. I tell you, you got to be careful around them leads. I tell you what, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me start with that end first. Don't fall on the floor. Let me get that lead going down in there first. Got my lead going in. I'm gonna try to put that in in first. Before I push it all the way in there where I can't get it out. There it went up under that lip. See it fell down in there. And my bub is I gotta go up just a hair. Capable of doing that. Moved up a hair. Pushing it to corners. Don't push on that bulb. Don't push on that solder. Push on the corners of the silicone base. Okay. Still not going in there deep enough. I'm going to see if I can push it a little bit more. Get that foam out of the way. Taking my screwdriver and kind of pushing the foam back around the, the silicone base there, giving it more room to go down some more. I 
I got my finger on the back side here feeling for that bulb. I can feel the bulb coming through. And it's just barely going to stick out. I'm going to have to bring it back out again. It's not wanting to go down in there for a minute. Let me see here. I push one corner in, the other corner lifts up. Push the other corner in, the other corner lifts up. So I'm gonna take both, push them both down at the same time here. The bulb, I mean, the thickness is perfect. I just can't get it to stay there. Yep. I'm gonna have to bring it back out. Test fit, test fit. see where I'm hitting that. It's got to be right there. Kind of thick right there. Still trying, just taking a little bit, just a little bit. Now don't start going crazy because you don't want to pop through the other side. simply making it a little bit deeper. Uh, your other piece that you've cut out, you know, <laughs> since I've made this <laughs> so deep down in there, pretty much all I'm gonna have to do to that piece that I cut out is just put a hole in it. Okay, I got them gloves looking like they're about even. Now they're not gonna be sticking out too far, just a little bit. Just enough, barely enough to see them. Let's see if you can see the thick, see how much it's gonna be sticking out very far. But it sure be an indicator. Piece here. I know which way it goes because I got a little bit of orange still left on it. <laughs> put my hole right there where that imprint was.
to flatten it out. trimming it up a little bit for that base to sit down on too. Just be careful. Pretty. I'll have to touch it, glue it, touch it up. All right, now, one more thing. I got to get this big connection here buried. So I'm gonna go in a 45 degree, I'm gonna take my channel, and instead of just cutting a big old square out, I'm gonna cut a 45 degree in that way. I'm gonna cut a 45 degree in this way. Gonna take my blade here and just kind of work it up and down in that in that channel. Gonna be easy pushing out that inside piece I just tried to cut out. To give that a little bit of room and get down in there and stay. Pushing side to side, not just straight down, but just kind of side to side. And I'm going to try to get my black lead to be up. camouflage or in the red lead sticking up. Just kind of pushing it in with my finger and moving my finger back and forth there on top of that lead, getting it to work in, into the groove. Don't push too hard now, you'll indent your foam. Before I make that turn there, and a little bit before I make that turn, I'm going to go ahead and try to bury this a little bit. I'm going to run that 
screwdriver right on top of the lead there a little bit. Push it down in there. Like so. Just got a little bit of black showing right here. But I can always go back with, when I touch up the match his color here. I can just take me some paint and match his color. I know I got three or four different greens in there. And take some green and some blue. Maybe it might need a little blue in it or something, you know. You finally eventually get it. Working a turn there, working a turn. Saying now, uh, wait a minute now, uh, EQ. Looks like that lead kind of stops right there. <laughs> That's right. Because I had to run another lead from the front cockpit back through where these servo leads come through from the factory. And then I've got to put a plug, a male plug, on the end of it. I'm gonna show it to you in a second here. We're about done. We're done. All we gotta do is the gluing and the touching up there. Let me don't I'm gonna lose that piece there. But there's what you're looking at. And the bulb is just barely sticking out on the other side. You can't even hardly see it sticking out there, barely a little nub sticking up there. Now there'll be a little bit more when I start pushing this in the end to get it glued in. Be a little bit more than that, but that's all I'm gonna do. Might make a black circle around it or something for a base, you know what I mean? Alright. The lead is going to go down just like the ones for the elevator and the rudder. I got the lead here sticking out. I've done run it through with the go get them lead, go get them rod. I'm going to put the mail end on it. And that's just going to plug in right here where the rest of them do. You can see I got my area prepped there already. Got some paint removed by sticking tape to it and pulling it back off. And then I take my little small owl and poke little holes in it in different angles, different directions, rough it up. I've got all my leads got this, you know, untied there where they have them tied up. And I'm gonna try to put my receiver up here, pilots. I'm gonna try to put it right there. Now where they've run these two leads here down the side, instead of them running down the side, I'm gonna have extensions all on these leads here and they're gonna run up this side and back up to here. And what I'm gonna have to do to my cockpit a little bit to get the thing cut there, you can see this hole right here in the center. Most of my wires is gonna be sticking right straight up in this hole. I might have to bore it out just a little bit right around in this area here. Uh, right in that area there. Where the wires from the receiver stick right up in there and be right up out of the way. But there's step one, pilot. I'm gonna put them in the wing next. I'm out.